Hey, what's going on everyone? In my last tutorial, I showed you how to delete all records from a table by the table name using VBA code. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to tell whether a table exists or not using VBA. So let's go ahead and create a function. Right. All right, and we're going to use the table definitions to see if the table exists. So we're going to loop through all the tables, well, the table definitions within the assets database, and then we're going to check the name and see if the name matches up. Right now, we have a table name names in here, so we can check that one out. So for each TDF, and we need to check this current database. So we use the current DB object, table defs. I'm going to compare. the table name uh, parameter against the TDF name. And if that returns zero, then it matches. We can exit the for loop from there. I did mess up right here. Instead of doing a uh, TDF as table def is supposed to be table def, because we're looping through the table definitions, but we're only holding one table definition. All right, so we compile that again real quick. Returns true if table exists in current database, else returns false. And remember, even though I don't sign this function name false, if you don't return anything, to the function, it all met defaults to false, so I don't need to do that. So we can go ahead and go ahead and test this function out in our test function, or you can say subroutine. I'm hit F5 to run that. You can see it returned true. I'm gonna add one on here because that table name does not exist. We only have one table called names. Run it. It returns false. So now we can take this function and add it to our delete table function that we created before. And I don't want to throw any errors like if the table doesn't exist, it's just going to return true. And the reason why I do this sometimes when I'm importing the sale documents and the table doesn't exist, I just create the table anyways. So we're going to do if if it exists, then we run this code. Else, it just goes down here and it returns true anyways. All right, we go back over here. You see we got some records in there, two records. We're going to run the delete table um, delete table records function again. Even though this table doesn't exist, it should still return true. I'm going to hit F5. Returns true. Alright, and then we're going to put the Real table in there. 
names, hit F5, it should still return true. You hit F5 to refresh, and you can see all the records are deleted. All right, in my next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to actually delete a table using VBA code.